Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel NCRT Maths Hub. Today in this video we will do worksheet number 44 for class 9 subject mathematics. So today in this video we are going to learn about the surface area of right circular cone. So students, required previous knowledge is understanding of cone and surface area. So students, we are going to talk about surface area of right circular cone. Ki. So first of all, you should understand about the cone. What is the cone? Kya hota hai? कौन कैसे बनता है एंड सरफेस एरिया के बारे में कि सरफेस एरिया क्या होता है किसी भी फिगर का सो नाउ बाय लुकिंग एट द फिगर्स यू मस्ट हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट आर दिस फिगर्स कॉल्ड जैसा कि आप स्क्रीन पर देख पा रहे हैं हमारे सामने क्या है दो फिगर्स हैं लाइक आइसक्रीम कोन एंड बर्थडे कैप सो दीस फिगर्स आर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ राइट सर्कुलर कोन ये एग्जांपल क्या है राइट सर्कुलर कोन के हैं एंड देयर आर मेनी मोर एग्जांपल्स इन आवर डेली लाइफ दोस आर ऑफ राइट सर्कुलर कॉनिकल शेप सो यू कैन सी कॉनिकल ट्री कॉर्न कॉब यानी मक्की का भूठा जो हम खाते हैं एंड द बैरिकेड्स दोज आर यूज ऑन द रोड्स फॉर डाइवर्जन पर्पजेज एंड देर आर मेनी मोर एग्जाम्पल्स सो यू कैन सी सो नाउ प्रोसीड इन फिगर वन यू कैन सी हेयर ए इज द वर्टेक्स ऑफ राइट सर्कुलर कॉन एंड ए बी इज कॉल्ड हाइट ए बी को हम क्या बोलेंगे हाइट बोलेंगे सो हेयर दिस इज ए बी एंड बी सी इज कॉल्ड द रेडियस सो बी सी इज द रेडियस ऑफ बेस ऑफ कॉन एंड ए सी इज द स्लैंड हाइट ए सी को हम क्या बोलेंगे स्लैंड हाइट ऑफ कॉन रिमेंबर दैट बाई द कॉन इन दिस चैप्टर we will sell me in a right circular cone so a right circular cone can be formed by using right angle triangle also so when we rotate or revolve the right circular right angle triangle along its height or altitude then a conical shape is formed a cone is formed this is known as right circular cone so now let's proceed and find the surface area of cone so we shall cut a cone made up of paper straight from its vertex to the circular part you can see now the line along which we cut the cone is called as slant height that is l of the cone you can see here oa and ob are the slant height of cone the curved portion whose end points are a and b will form the circular base of cone so a and b form circular base of cone if the paper is now cut into hundreds of little pieces along the lines drawn from the center point that is o as one figure then each cut portion is almost small triangle whose height is equal to the slant height of cone so you can see here there are hundred of triangles you can see ob b1 and b1 b2 o similarly ob2 b3 similarly hundred of triangles are cut from this part so the now area of each triangle will be equals to 1 by 2 into base of each triangle into height that is land height l so now so the area of entire piece of paper will be sum of areas of all the hundred triangles so that you can see here 1 by 2 into base b1 that is for the first triangle and into height that is land height similarly 1 by 2 into base that is b2 into land height that is l in each case land height will be same in each case and now 1 by 2 into b3 into l similarly 1 by 4 into b4 into l and like as 400 triangles so 1 by 2 into l can be taken as common so b1 plus b2 plus b3 up to 100 so big 100 so now 1 by 2 into l plus b1 to 100 will be length of entire curved boundary this will be length of curved boundary that is circle so now as b1 b2 b3 make up the curved portion of the figure but the curved portion of figure makes a makes up the perimeter of base of cone and that is the circumference of base of cone and that is circle and circumference of circle we all know that that is 2 pi r so base of circumference of base of cone will be 2 pi r so where r is the radius of cone so the surface area of cone will be 1 by 2 into L into circumference of base that is 2 pi r. So 2, 2 will be cancelled and this will be pi r L. So keep in mind, this is the required result surface area of cone or you can see curved surface area of cone or you can say lateral surface area of cone is pi r L. This is the important result keep in mind. So now you can note that L square equals to kya hota? L r square plus h square. Therefore L will be under the root r square plus h square. So L is the slant height of the cone so slant of height slant height of cone will be equals to under the root r square plus h square and where r is the radius of cone that is base radius of cone and h is the height of cone so keep in mind slant height will be equals to under the root r square plus h square so now if the base of cone is closed then the circular piece of paper of the radius r is also required for whose area is pi r square so here if we want to close the base of the cone so then we need a circular base or chahiye so so close karne ke liye that is pi r square so total surface area of cone will be curved surface area of cone that is pi r l plus base area that is pi r square so that take pi r is common so pi r into l plus r or you can say r plus l 
So this is the total surface area of cone that is pi r l plus pi r square. So keep in mind. So now proceed for some problems. We have some problems. So you can see on the screen. Find the curved surface area of right circular cone whose slant height is 10 centimeter and base radius is 7 centimeter. And we all know that curved surface area or you can say lateral surface area of cone equals to kya hota? pi r l hota hai. So that pi into r into l, let's put all the values here and we will get the curved surface area of cone that is 220 centimeter square. So the height of cone is 16 centimeter and space radius is 12 centimeter and find the total surface area of cone in the problem number two. So you can see and we are to use pi as 3.14. So here height is 16 centimeter radius is 12 centimeter. So we can find the slant height by using the formula L square equals to R square plus H square. So L we have L we can find 20 centimeter. So by putting the value of radius and height here. So now we have L as 20 centimeters. So total surface area will be pi R into R plus L or you can say pi R L plus base area that is pi R square. Put all the values here and we will get the total surface area of cone as 1205.76 centimeters square. So this is all about question number two. So now we have two questions for practice. So more ahead for the solution part. In the first question we have given the diameter of base of cone is 10.5 centimeter and its slant height is 10 centimeter find its curved surface area. So, see what is given here, cone given here, like you can see on the screen. What is given here, cone's length height given here, that is 10 cm and the base diameter of cone is 10.5 cm. So, we are given diameter of base of cone is 10.5 cm. So, the radius of cone will be half of diameter, that is 10.5 by 2. So, that we will get the radius that is equal to 21 by 4 cm. So, now and slant height we are given as 10 cm. So, we have radius and slant height so we can find the curved surface area of cone that is pi r l square unit so put all the put all the values here pi is 22 by 7 radius is 21 by 4 and slant height is 10 centimeter so put all the value and simplify it and we will get 165 centimeter square that is the curved surface area of required cone so this is all about question number one so now proceed for question number two that is find the total surface area of cone if its slant height is 21 meter and diameter of its base is 24 meter so now given slant height of cone that is l equals to 21 meter we are given and diameter of base of cone is 24 meter so radius will be 24 by 2 that is 12 meter so the human diameter given has so the radius ka ho jayega, diameter ka half that is 12 meter so now total surface area of cone equals to curved surface area plus base area and that is pi r l plus pi r square so or we can write it as pi r into r plus l square unit so now put all the values here pi is 22 by 7 and radius is 12 and slant height is 21 so put all the values here so now 22 by 7 into 12 and 12 plus 21 become 33 so now multiply all these values we will get 8712 by 7 after dividing it we will get 1244.57 meters square and this is the total surface area of cone and this is all about worksheet number 44. So if you learn from this video, then please do subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can. Thanks for watching.